All right, guys, today we are installing the third brake light flasher harness from MX-5 Things. This is the one with the accelerometer for the RF model. Um, came in this little baggie with a zip tie. Um, it's got some Velcro here to kind of secure the accelerometer down. Um, I also, I guess it's the flasher as well. But uh, let's see what we can do. I know in order to start, we need to get behind the uh, behind the seat up underneath the, the RF top. Let's go ahead and start the car, and uh, we're going to lift the top to the point where it comes all the way up, but the top doesn't come down yet. Let's kill that music real quick before we get demonetized. Time to monetize. Who am I kidding? So let's go ahead and try and do that. I think that's, that's all she got right there. That's perfect. With the car off now. We're gonna go ahead and locate this harness right here. It'll be basically right behind the driver's head when the, the top is down. So if we kind of zoom in, you can see this, this little clip right here. And so I'm gonna take my, my handy dandy Leatherman. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Looks like maybe going from the other side would be a better option, uh, but we got it. it. Actually wasn't too hard at all. So now I am just taking an alcohol wipe and we're gonna kind of clean the, the metal surface closest to that bracket just that we got a nice good area that's we know is gonna work well to stick the uh, the velcro other half to all right so as you can see we've attached the loop portion of the velcro there we're gonna go ahead and take our new harness and snap it right into there perfect fit uh, let's go ahead and secure this guy so make sure you get it lined up there we go so yeah, looks like we've got plenty of room. Next we just need to pull this plug. Yeah, not happening one-handed. So unfortunately I wasn't able to get that one-handed, um, but just basically make sure black goes into gray, and then run a zip tie around the whole thing, make sure it's nice and secure. Um, make sure your top goes up and down without it interfering with anything. I'm gonna do that and then trim this edge off. Um, that should be it. Make sure you test your brake lights before, uh, before driving away. And this is what it looks like under normal braking. This is what it's going to look like under heavy braking. So there it is. Um, hopefully this will save me from getting rear-ended one day. Otherwise, um, I'm going to do the stereotypical YouTube thing. Make sure you like, subscribe. I am getting a better camera. I'm going to do some more ride-alongs. I'm going to do like a, a one-month ownership. Kind of try and get a little bit of a series going here. Um, as always, any questions, any comments, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to put the link to the brake flasher. Uh, in the description. Um, see you soon.